Hello everybody and welcome to another Mario Kart 8 modding tutorial. Today we are discussing model importing. Now before we begin we will need to install a couple things. First we need a 3D modeling program. I will be using Blender version 2.79 in this tutorial. Secondly we will need the switch toolbox. This makes importing 3D models into Mario Kart 8 possible. Third, we need two Blender plugins. These are called Cats and Material Combiner. On each of the download pages, there will be a short tutorial on how to install Blender plugins. Finally, we need a model. A link to the model resource will be in the description. Before we start, I need to mention some prerequisites. First off, your texture file size will need to be equal or less than than the one you are replacing. To check the file size of your character's textures, simply drag and drop your character's file into the Switch toolbox. Character files can be found in Content, then Driver. Once it is opened, click the Befrez file, then Textures. Most characters have 512 by 512 textures for the body and 256 by 256 textures for the eyes slash mouth. However, some don't, such as Donkey Kong, who has 1024 by 1024 textures. Second, make sure that your vertices slash polygons are less than 6000. You can go over, however the game will lag. Okay, let's begin. Import your model into Blender. If your model is not rigged, it will look like this. However, if it is rigged, please go to the, this timestamp on screen. If your non-rigged character model has multiple textures, you will need to atlas them before we put it into an auto-rigger. Please go to this timestamp on screen, and come back to this part when you are done. For this tutorial, we will put this model into an auto-rigger called Mexamo. This website link is in the description. Signing up for this website is completely free. You can also use your Adobe account to sign in. Once you have signed in, you will get a screen like this. Click Upload Character. Now just drag and drop your 3D model file into Mixamo. Adjust the model with these buttons, if you have to. Now put these markers over the model like the diagram shown. Under, under Skeleton LOD, mark it as two chain fingers. Mario Kart 8 uses four bones to control the fingers. We can merge child bones weights when we get into Blender. After this, click Next. The auto rigging process may take some time, so please be patient. When it is done, you will get a preview of your character. If you are happy with the results, click Next. This is optional, but you can select all of these animations on the left and do some extra proofing. When you are finally done, click Download. When this screen shows up, under Formats, pick .dae. This 3D model format is the most universal. Once you have your model imported, the materials may be deleted. Let's fix this. First, create a new material in the Material tab and scroll down to MMD Texture and select the character's texture. Once done, click Fix Model in the Cats tab. When you import your model, and if you haven't already, click Fix Model in the Cats tab. After this, go to Vertex Groups and go into Weight Paint Mode and check the weight painting. Also, merge any bones to the parent by selecting them in Edit Mode and clicking Merge to Parents in the Cats tab. Sometimes when you import your model, the textures may be messed up. To fix this, go to MMD Texture in the Material tab and select the right textures. Also, you may need to delete any materials you don't need. If you have any bones that are missing, such as the head, this might mean that the Cats plugin has deleted it. Do not worry, we can very easily fix this. First, go to Edit Mode and then select the end of the parent bone and press E. This will add a child bone. Now simply remain this to the original name of the bone. This name can be found in Vertex Group. When you do this, it will transfer all the weights to the new bone. Repeat this if some more bones have been deleted. To Parent Bones, right click all the bones and then select the last one to be the parent. And then do Ctrl plus P, then click Keep Offset. Also, I recommend that you pose your model in a correct stance, aka a T-Pose. Now we are going to rename all the bones to what your character uses. Again, refer to the skeleton list. If you want to make a shadow map, I would recommend the tutorial linked in the description made by the creator of the Switch Toolbox, Hill ZX Gaming. 
We are almost finished in Blender. The last thing we need to do is Atlas the Textures. Remember, Mario Kart 8 uses one object and two materials, this being the body and the eyes slash mouth. If you already have textures like this Lucario, for example, I have here, you will need to Atlas them. However, if you only have two textures, you can ignore this step and skip to the timestamp on screen. First, go to the Material Combiner tab and tick slash untick the textures you need to combine. For the atlas size, I recommend quadratic with size of gaps between images set to zero. Now before you create your atlas, save your blender scene, just in case something breaks. Now click save atlas to, and then select the folder location of your atlas. When you do this, you may have this weird lighting issue. This is probably a bug with the material combiner. We can very easily fix this. Open a photo editing program, you can use any, however I recommend paint.net since it's free and easy to use. Open your atlas and overlay your original textures over the atlas. Once you do this, save the image. Before we export, make sure your materials are renamed to body underscore underscore m underscore body for the body and body underscore underscore m underscore i for the eye slash mouth. Lastly, we need to export. I recommend using the CATS plugin for exporting, however you can use Blender's built-in exporter. Make sure the file you export is either a .dae or .fbx file. Alright, let's get this model imported in-game. First, drag and drop your character file into the Switch toolbox. This extra step will be important later. Go into settings, a window will now pop up. The checkboxes shown here are self-explanatory. Now, let's finally import our model. Go into Models and right-click your character and select Replace. Select your export of model. You should now see this menu. Make sure all these settings are like shown on screen. After clicking OK, uncheck Use Material and Create Placeholder Textures. Next, click the Inject Mode tab. Check all these options. Now click on the current materials and rename them to the appropriate names on the right. Once you are finished, click on the model settings tab and click save. You should now have your model imported in, but we're not done yet. Right click your character and select transform. If your model is too small, then I recommend setting the scales to 1.1. Set them all to 1.01 for more precise sizing. If your model is too big, then set all the scales to 0.5. You want to try and position your model to align the armature. Okay, let's test this. Go to animations, then skeletal animations, and click on any animation to see what your model will look like when put in game. Hmm, it seems as though the animations look broken. Let's fix this. I will start by sizing the model up and then repositioning the bones. To reposition the bones, go to your character and then skeleton. Start by collapsing all the bones until you have reached the bones that need to be repositioned. I don't recommend stretching out the bones too much as they may break other animations. Okay, this looks great. Now let's apply our textures. Under the textures section, right click the textures that end with underscore ALB and click replace. Do this for all your model textures. Also replace the pupil texture with a transparent image. If you don't want to include a spectral map, Set all the textures that end in SPM to a 1x1 black image. If you would like to generate a normal map, first download VTF Edit. A download link will be in the description. Import your texture and make sure these settings are here. When you have done this, click OK. You will now have a normal map. Simply export the file as a PNG and apply it to your model. When you have done all of this, you are finally finished. Simply click save slash save as and click yes when it asks you to compress with Yaz O. Congratulations, you have now imported a model into Mario Kart 8. Now, let's have a look at the finished product.